Hi everybody, it's probably Red here. We're going to start Loyalty Oath. We're going to use Akaria Rising, which is a mono shadow deck that is including the Akaria from Shadow of the Spire, the new uh, mini set that just came out recently. So let's jump into it and see who's on the ladder. Okay, we're up against Mr. Freeman. Oh, uh, not exactly what we're looking for. We need a little bit more power in the opening hand. This is pretty good. Act. This is actually pretty solid. Because we can, if we get flooded, we can decimate that for a 2 2 with deadly. Um, got two blood seekers to start out with. Unkindness. Got a bar's favor. Yeah, this is a great opener, in my opinion. Okay, so they're playing Mono Time. Even hated. Okay. Ouch. That's gonna be rough. Um, good thing we can swing in. Kinda gotta aggro him out then. I wouldn't be surprised that, to see a lot of uh, shadow, because I think this, this would probably be a pretty popular deck. Um, mono time's probably up there, and then mono fire aggro is likely to have a lot of players. As far as mono colors go, my personal favorites. Um, Tend to oh, whoa, 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 wait. yeah. We can attack into the what is this thing? You may put one of your other units in your hand. Oh my gosh. Well, I have to admit I am not fond of that. But at least I don't have to worry about casting unkindness yet. You're gonna be drawing some cards. This is where deadly would be really good against mono time. Having lots of deadly stuff. It's gonna be hard to face value like EBITDA at a Golub. Okay. Um, so, I guess we'll just attack out. They can double block if they want to. Yeah, I don't mind. And I'll drop another one of these. Hopefully they play something a little bit bigger. Like something with five uh, toughness or less. That isn't just a 2-2 two -two vanilla. After the summit effect. Because then we can go ahead and uh, play him in the car. Not exactly what I was thinking. Man, they're drawing a lot of cards. And, um, unfortunately, holy mackerel. Okay, so that's worth eating. Hmm. So let's go ahead and decimate. And then let's devour that. Play the deadly unit. It's not swinging, and there's no point. You're already actually at pretty low health. Huh. And they're steady up there. I know they're going to be able to play units for a while. They might have almost all units. Summon vulnerable. Okay. Alright. Drop this first. Okay, enemy relic and put it into our hand. Huh. Sort of like that. Nightfall. Yeah. All in all that's pretty pretty solid stuff. 
Um, I think I'll just end turn at that point. Yeah, this is kind of why we're at such low health. It doesn't look like we're going to be getting to 10 cards in the void anytime soon. Unless we really, really quickly start killing more and more of their units. Okay, indestructible. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. We'll take six. We really need to gain some life though, for real. We're just trying to conserve some of our resources so that we'll all be able to actually fight against this opponent. I don't think they have any direct interaction, like with our life total. Overwhelm is really what's going to get us. Good game. Oh. <laughs> that was rough. That was very, very strong build they got over there. It just grinded us out. Good game. Well played, Mr. Freeman. Alright, we're up against Red Turtle. Hmm. I do not like this. We gotta redraw. And this is okay. We can get there. Got a little bit of a defensive uh, removal. And then we got a couple of air mods. And this is better on three. Unless we have to have the Devouring Shower come out, because this gets better and better over time, as long as we keep uh, gaining power. That's happening. Yeah, that is an extremely strong Shadow Guard. What is that? Flying Quick Draw. When putting such as the enemy player steal a random card from their market, I would want to mark it. They will gain two life. Okay, so it's a flying quick draw life steal for two. Two two. Wow. That's actually really good. That is very good. I think we'll take it. Not yet though. Hopefully we gain some power next turn. Hmm. Okay, so we don't have a market, but we'll play this. Alright, so Airmont's a pretty good blocker here. I don't think they'll attack into it. I think we, um, hmm. I think we'll just kill that. And we'll pass, holding up a good old block for the quick draw. Now they attack, I'm gonna block. I'll need to kill spell and lose the air mot. Um, okay, another hit, ouch. Just need one more power, and it didn't happen. Dang it. Um, hmm. Should we just go ahead and kill it? Yeah, no. Oh, wow. So hopefully we'll get rid of all of their removal. So automatically a 5-5. Five, five. So this would still work pretty well. Um, instead of them getting to 7, they'll only gain 2. And then next turn we can s take their... Pony Snatcher. Ah, uh, ouch. 
Okay, I think we'll go ahead and try. Yeah, we'll go ahead and kill this. Yeah. Okay. So this lets us block that. And then if they have two removal spells, we'll get rid of the second one on the merit of having. Ow. Whoa. Okay. Let's get the pony snatcher. And then well, they'll gain four life, but we did seven, so okay. So let's go ahead and swing with these. And then let's, uh, we'll drop a mine splinter. It's less aggressive, but it's going to gain us some life because we're going to attach that to them. Whoa. Okay. So we go with this and this. I don't think we'll swing in for uh, one damage. Awesome. Um, so let's swing in for six. good life total there um, but I think I would quadruple block the Akaria because they're just tiny units I would not block that would I it would eat two units yeah let's go ahead and do that number because it would only eat two units Yeah, it's an even trade. Okay. And then... Uh, I'll hold up the Bending Doom so I don't have to, like, chump block. But it's also killing me. Right at the top deck, something to deal with the Akaria. Hopefully, my own Akaria. <laughs> Let's see what they got. Ironically, red turtle versus probably red, and oh my gosh. Okay, so we can get a five cause unit. That's rough. Check with all this stuff. Life gain was very helpful there. Shadowlands Tyrant is an impressive card. We have to kill it as soon as possible. We'll double block with our. Um, Heroes, the, our champions, because we don't want to lose a Dizo. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. 
Okay. Let's go ahead and get rid of the shadow on Siren. That was impressive. Dizo, snatching Dizo. I think I killed the wrong Dizo. Damn it. <laughs> I have no idea. This Dizo is... How did I... That was confusing. I couldn't figure... I guess I gotta pay attention. Like, gonna, it's added from left to right. Anyways. Good game. Well played, Red Turtle. Well, this event's going quickly. It's a blast, but man, we're getting decimated. Up against O'Brien J. And this hand looks like a keeper. One thing is, is uh, this is a deck that I've been testing out for Expedition. Um, so, it's not necessarily optimized for the Mono Shadow format with every card. Um, not to make excuses, I'm just noting. But, I mean, I feel like it's pretty well armed for this format. Like, so far I haven't really seen anything that's kind of said, hey, Mark Magister's Portal's an interesting way to do it. Take the three. Say, so, like, we're going pretty, we're going pretty fast here. I like Mono Shadow aggro. Like this, the first half of the deck it just feels very aggressive and powerful when it goes off. It's all situational. It's like like under certain circumstances, it's insanely powerful. They're having a little bit of that vic that same victoriousness too. Um, I want to kill these units as soon as I can. One nice thing, though, that we can already tell because of Borderlands Lookout is it's not an even-handed golem deck. Hmm. Let's go for this. Gotta kill as much of this stuff as we can. The nice thing about this is, is even though it's exalted, it's not going to give him any bonus. I like Devouring Shadow so much. One of the big reasons to be in Mono Shadow, other than Akaria, um, and Aramont. Let's go ahead and eat this. Yeah. Probably could have saved it to kill a blocker, but just in case they. Well, that went a lot better. That was a good game. Well played, O'Brien J. Alright, we're up against Grishold. And I'll keep this. Unkindness. I love this card. You know, it seems like it's like kind of like a oppressive card. And like it's like just nasty, nasty. Um, but... It's very fun to play with. Just having three flyers. I mean, they can keep playing units. It just doesn't do anything. So it is swingy. But what does this do? Empower. Top three. Oh my gosh. If we're playing against Mono Shadow Mill. Now that would be an interesting matchup. Um, I think out of all of this, I'm going to start with Impending Doom. And then they want Mind Splinter. No, I want Mind Splinter first.
I don't know. I think I want aggro. No. It's kind of a hard choice. So, okay. Hmm. Let's start with mine but I'm not even going to attack in and try to trick him. One nice thing is our Bloodseeker will get enormous. The less flying units they play, the better. We're not flying, but... Um, well, yeah, the less flying units they play, the better, but now they killed our flyer. <laughs> Annihilate also hurts. Yeah, okay, okay. There we go. Okay, that helped, actually. Let's do... Let's get the big guns going. Gotta push across some damage. We got them on a three turn clock now. Uh, as long as nothing gets removed. They have the pick of the litter of their hand. Okay. Uh, let's see what we can grab with Incarnus. I love that Incarnus is also unblockable. It's just such a good card. Whenever you gain arm, I really hate this card. I'm not trying to be a hater, but man, that card is rough. Uh, block a once or a 2-2. Two -two. I'll just take the 2-2, two -two, huh? I'm just running through my brain. Uh, is there any dragons that I'm running? And I'm 100% sure it's a no. Almost 100% sure. I should know. But maybe it's just a unit in here that's just like happens to be a dragon. It just doesn't stand out as a dragon. I don't think so. Okay, hold the phone. So are they saving up to Dizo? Because they did not kill Incarnus. Are they going to wait until this is at 6 mastery? Because that would be pretty annoying. <laughs> and then take it with Dizo and get the, uh, the second invoke off of it. Now we got them on three turn clock. But if they Dizo, then man, that would be rough. Okay, well, they'll buy kill Blinkarnas this way. Yeah. Let's. Let's minus one, minus one all Akarias. <laughs> well, Valkyries, I mean. <laughs> jump block. Hmm. Yeah, we want to get rid of that. We got to get rid of that, honestly. Nightmare Valkyrie. Yeah! Okay, cool. That ended up working out pretty well. Um, we'll have to let them get back. I uh, even had a golem. Yeah, that's gnarly. It's actually pretty fun. I love this is one of my favorite cards. And. We're good at 5 5 beast, but I think. Honestly, rend it. Hmm. Well, 
they are snowballing out of control here. We are not getting a lot of traction at this point. Hmm. We could kill there. Let's do that. Drop this. And they got us. Good game. Well, that was a really quick run through of the event. Um, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. So, we'll, you know, you'll have opportunity to get a little reminder about when we're on. If you want notifications, you click the little bell symbol. And if you enjoyed the video, please just go ahead and give me that like button. It really helps out. Um, makes our channel like a little bit more widely known uh gives us a little bit of a chance to reach other people and show them our content thank you so much and have a good night hey oh, whoops i gotta do the whole i just clicked the almost forgot the rewards here we go let's see what we got oh okay <laughs> i love upgraded that's awesome